Okay, good afternoon uh, or morning, whatever time it is that you're looking at this video. Uh, year four. Um, hi, everyone. It's been a while. Um, got a bit of a quiz for you. So we're going to do a topic quiz. It's based around the uh, natural disasters topic and dinosaurs, which we studied in the uh, spring term, just before uh, all this, this happened. Um, so, yeah, have a go at the questions. The first nine questions are... Uh, the first nine questions are multiple choice uh, questions based around natural disasters, so volcanoes, earthquakes, etc. And then after that, we've got some questions 10 through to 15, which are all around uh, dinosaurs, which might make you wonder why I've got uh, T-Rex in the background here. He's a, a real-life dinosaur. He's going to be uh, asking uh, some of the questions and, and helping me out. Say, hello, Rex. Hi, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so straight on with the uh, quiz. Maybe have a, a pencil and paper, pen and paper ready so you can note down uh, your answers. Later on, you'll have a second video which will give you all the answers so you can see uh, how you got on. So, on with the quiz. Question one. Which natural disaster would you measure on the Richter scale? A. Volcanic eruption. B. Flood or C, earthquake? Ooh, uh, tricky question. Okay, question two is what is created by a rotating column of air that extends from the base of a thunderstorm to the ground? Is it A, tornado, B, drought, or C, wildfire? Ah. Ooh, think about that one. Okay, number three. What is a long period of dry weather known as? Is it A. Lightning, B. Avalanche, or C. Drought? Okay. Number four, question four. When an earthquake on the sea floor causes a tidal wave, what is the natural disaster it creates called? Is it? A. Tsunami, B. Tornado, or C. Hurricane. Mm. Mm. Number five. What are winds of over 100 miles an hour formed over warm seas called? Is it... A. Flood, B. Hurricane, or C. Lightning. Mm. <sighs> Question six. Which natural disaster involves a lot of snow and ice falling rapidly down a mountainside. Is it? A, volcanic eruption, B, avalanche, or C, wildfire. Mm. Ah. Question seven. Which of the following is not a natural disaster? Not a natural disaster. Is it? A, car crash, B, tsunami, or C, Avalanche. Mm. Question eight. What is an electrical discharge from cloud to cloud or cloud to ground accompanied by light known as? Is it? A. Blood. B. Lightning. Or C. Volcanic eruption. Okay. And the last question on natural disasters is question nine. Which of the following... I've already asked that question, haven't I? No, I haven't. Different answers. Which of the following is not, not a natural disaster? Is it? A, volcanic eruption, B, flood, or C, oil spill. Okay. Right, so, questions 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I'm actually going to hand over to Rex, because we've got a real live dinosaur in the classroom. These are all about dinosaurs. So, uh, yeah, questions. Now, these are true or false questions. So the answer is either true or false. Rex, question 10. Most plant-eating dinosaurs had sharp, pointy teeth. Ooh, true or false? Hmm. Okay, moving on. Question 11, true or false? Ankylosaurus features, sorry, hug plates, our bone that 
That's going to be huge. Huge, huge. Someone wet. missed an E. Maybe huge. I ate it earlier. Wow. Huge plates. Ankylos walls featured huge plates of bone that acted as body armour. Ooh, good question, Rex. Good question. I know. Okay, question 12. Now, this is the only one that's not true or false, and I'm not going to give you any possible answers for this as well. You should know this, though. We definitely studied it, or we definitely learnt it when we did our topic. So question 12, Rex, is... A person who studies fossils and prehistoric life such as Millie and other dinosaurs, is known as what? Oh, so what's the name of a person who studies dinosaurs and fossils? Hmm. Okay, question 13. How many, question 13. Again, not multiple choice, this one. So, so what's your answer? We did learn this one, but you should know this one. Question 13. How many horns did a triceratops have? Mmm, tasty. Triceratops. How many horns on a triceratops? Okay, and 14 and 15 are true and false. Uh, true or false, sorry. So, true or false? The name dinosaur means terrible lizard. Mmm, is that true or false? Be careful with that one. Uh, and 15, final question on our, on our, uh, our, our topic quiz is... Us T Tyrannosaurus Rexes, T Rexes, were the biggest dinosaur ever. <laughs> was T Rex the biggest dinosaur ever? Hmm. Okay. Right. Thank you for uh, listening. Hopefully, you've you've done well um, and you've written your answers down. So look out shortly for another video, which will give you uh, all the answers, so you can tick off your answers and see how many you've got. Um, yeah. Brilliant. Great to see uh, see you all, uh, and hope to see you all uh, very soon. Bye-bye from Rex. Bye! Ah.